forces, as we've discussed in a previous video, can be grouped into two different groups. Contact forces, whereby the objects have to be touching to experience a force, and non-contact forces, whereby the force acts at a distance and the objects aren't touching. And we've run through before a few of the contact forces, including friction, drag, normal contact force, upthrust, air resistance, tension, thrust and lift. And in this video we're going to focus on the non-contact forces, so gravitational force, electrostatic force, magnetic force and weight. So electrostatic force is a force experienced between charged particles. But because it's non-contact, those particles don't have to be touching in order to experience the force. So here we've got a positive charge and a negative charge, and they will feel a force of attraction because they are opposite charges. Or you could have two like charges, for example two positive charges, and they would repel each other. Similarly with magnetic force, if you had two opposite poles coming close together, they would experience a force of attraction. And on the other hand, if you had two like poles together, they would experience a force which would mean they would repel each other. Gravitational force is the force with which you're pulled down towards the Earth. And this is closely linked to weight, which is why sometimes on force diagrams you may see people write gravitational force or you may see weight. And we're going to focus a little bit more on weight just now. There is an equation that we can use to calculate weight and that is weight equals mass times gravitational field strength. Weight is a force measured in newtons. Mass is measured in kilograms and gravitational field strength is measured in newtons per kilogram. So in physics, when you're talking about weight, you're not talking about what your mass is in kilograms, you're talking about the force with which you're pulled down towards another object. So on Earth, the gravitational field strength is 9.8 newtons per kilogram, and you often see that rounded to 10 newtons per kilogram in some questions. So if we were to answer the question, what is the weight of the diver if he has a mass of 50 kilograms? We would use our equation, weight equals mass times gravitational field strength. So weight equals your mass, which is 50 kilograms in this question, multiplied by gravitational field strength, and because he's on Earth, that would be 9.8 newtons per kilogram, so he would have a weight of 490 newtons. Gravitational field strength is different on the Moon compared to the Earth. On the Moon, the gravitational field strength is just 1.6 newtons per kilogram, compared to 9.8 newtons per kilogram on Earth. This means you will weigh more on the Earth compared to the Moon. But be careful. As I said, weight in physics does not mean your mass. Weight is the force with which you are pulled down towards an object, for example the Earth or the Moon. So this is why in videos you will see the astronauts hopping around on the moon because there's a smaller force pulling them down to the surface of the moon. So our weight would be different if we were to answer the question how much would a 50 kilogram person weigh on earth? We've done that question. We said that 50 multiplied by 9.8 would be 490 newtons. But let's now compare that to the moon how much would a 50 kilogram person weigh on the moon? Well this time we do 50 kilograms multiplied by 1.6 newtons per kilogram because that's a gravitational field strength on the moon and we get a weight of 80 newtons. So as you can see the weight, the force with which the person is pulled towards the object is much less on the moon compared to the earth. But be careful the mass does not change. You're still made of the same number of atoms, you've still got the same muscle, the same bones, everything, so your mass will still stay at 50 kilograms, but it is your weight 
that will change. Hi guys, if you enjoyed that last video, then please click on the screen to subscribe. You can also find all my videos in one place at GCSErevisionMonkey.com. If you're a teacher, check out the Key Stage 3 package at ScienceSurgery.com. It contains all of the Revision Monkey videos as well as loads more Key Stage 3 resources.